Hi, we are back again with Weekly PCS. On August 27th, the PUBG Continental Series 2 has kicked off. Here's the rundown of the first week of PCS 2. Take a look at what happened in all four regions and participate in the Pick'em Challenge event. Let's take a look at Asia first. In the first week, the intense rivalry between T1, Infantry, and Tianba Esports stood out. First, T1 started off by winning a 14-kill chicken dinner on the very first match and showed a very strong performance throughout the day even though this was their first PCS event. The new in-game leader, Starlord, seemed to fit well with T1. On the second day, the Chinese teams were relatively strong, but Rax, the youngest player, won the super tense 1v1v1 fight in the first match, showing strategic movement, but with precise accuracy and granted the chicken dinner to the team. I bet most of the fans were shouting for Rex here. Tianba has been a steady performance since the PCS charity showdown. They are not as explosive as back then, but they are still one of the strongest teams from China. They do have their style, playing in the outside of the circle but squeezing in at the perfect time with their team compatibility. The defending champions, Infantry, finished at the top in the first week. They always survive until the later phases and get all those placement points, but this team knows how to fight when they need to. They've won 24 kills chicken dinner in the second match of day 2. Before this match, they were in second place, but 34 points were enough to make them first. Led by Longscar, Infantry is indeed one of the strongest teams in Asia with both stability and compatibility. Will there be a team that can stop them? In North America, a lot of fans expected that Shutsu Kill would dominate. However, the competition was fierce. Fable won the very first match with 13 kills. They've also won the first match on PCS1 too. Last time, they couldn't bring that form until the end of the competition. Now that we have three weeks of matches, we'll have to see if they can maintain their form this time. It's also interesting that the in-game leader for this team is a female player, Gohella. We should definitely talk about Sonics, finished first in the first week. Tickleton did make a grand comeback. He ranked first in North America Peps Plus stats in the first week. It's been a while since he played in the pro scene, but he used to be one of the best players in MPL. There's no loading times for him. Oath, who won the PCS Charity Showdown, finished second with a stable performance as always. We could see how explosive they were on match 2 of the second day, where they won a 16-kill chicken against Sonics. This match was really exciting. However, Shutsu Kill, the defending champions who showed overwhelming performance in the group stage, showed a slowdown. The team got the most votes as soon as Pick'em Challenge opened. We should see how they climb up the scoreboard for two weeks. Unlike the last PCS1, when Q confirmed dominated for whole matches, the scoreboard during PCS2 fluctuated a lot in APAC. In the first match, Division X Gaming, the former PCS Charity Showdown champion, seemed to get off to a good start with the first chicken dinner, but were immediately chased down by the other teams. Daytrade Gaming from Thailand, who participated in all PCS events, took the lead with the 20 kills chicken dinner in match 2, but soon after, Battle Arena Elites and Divine took 17 and 15 kills chicken, respectively. On the second day, Divine, the Vietnamese top dog who participated in PGC 2019, was on track to dominate. They took the lead by 18 points. With the new player, Dion, fragging out in his first global event, will Divine reenact 2019 when they dominated Vietnam? We really have to keep our eyes on Battle Arena Elites from PSMS. They've pumped up their roster by adding Flood and Sophia. Both players have a lot of experience in global competitions, and this team has the potential to win it all. OC's Pride! Fury also ranked third in the first week. They haven't won any matches yet, but they don't go to the lobby early. They stacked up placement points and are showing that OC still has great potential. Europe is again showing very severe competition. On the first day, FaceCon finished first by earning placement points, but they were only one point ahead from Omakin Sports and Ents. On the second day, the top three teams struggled a bit and Navi and Shift W turned their performance around, reversing their rankings. 
So now they finished first in the first week. They climbed up four ranks in the last two matches, earning 30 crucial points. From the group stage, they seem to be becoming an icon of reversal. We'll have to wait and see if they can keep up with this momentum. Shift W, who finished second, may be an unfamiliar team. Shift W won the PCS2 tickets from the Euro West Open Qualifier. This team seems like they're rookies together, but why are they so good? There are two players who participated in PUBG Nations Cups 2019 as representatives of Germany. They ranked fifth. With these players, they do have the potential to stand out among the traditional teams. The score gap between the first place and 16th place is only about 50 points, so it's still anyone's game in Europe. Stay tuned until the end and check out which team will become the champion. PCS2 will be back on September 3rd with PCS2 Asia Day 3. Next week, the Pick'em Challenge closes on September 8th, so make sure you watch the second week of PCS2 and participate in the Pick'em Challenge and succeed in predicting the winner. We'll be back with the next weekly PCS. Bye!